Hi guys, it's me, I'm back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you what I order from Subway. So here we go. I usually get a sub. Um, it's usually a 12 inch, maybe a six inch if I'm not as hungry. I'll get, I'll show you, I'll give you, I'll tell you all about it in a minute. I get the chips. My favorite chips are probably the Lay's sour cream and onion. But if I'm not feeling those, I get a different chip. Like the Ruffles are good. Sometimes the Doritos or the Sun Chips. And then the drink. Usually I get one of the fountain drinks and I'll fill it with lemonade. But that's if I'm there. And I wanted to bring this and I didn't want to carry a cup. So I got this ginger ale. I do love ginger ale. So now I'll give you a close up and tell you all about the sub that I order. So usually I start with the Italian bread. Sometimes I'll get the Italian urban cheese, but usually not. Then I always start with the tuna. Always get the tuna. The cheese, the Subway I go to, they don't have like the biggest cheese selection. So I've just been getting the shredded cheese and it's good. And I get it toasted every single time. And then for the vegetables, you start off with, well, sometimes I start off with salt and pepper. Not this time, but you start off with lettuce, onion, usually pickles, so most of the time I get olives, then for the sauce, it depends, the sauce, sometimes it's, it's usually mayonnaise, here on this YouTube channel, we love mayonnaise, but today I settled for the honey mustard, that's the second best sauce. I haven't really tried the other ones, but I love the honey mustard, so this is nice. This is the sub that I pretty much always order at Subway. So that's the sub that I get, but I'll give you a nice taste test so I can describe the flavors to you. Sometimes it can get a little messy, like the tuna will fall out, but I think that's for most subs. Mmm. Mmm. I love tuna. My brother tells me that the tuna is disgusting, but I love it anyways. Mmm. Mm -hmm. you, you taste the tuna. You get a nice crunch from the lettuce and the pickles. The olives, they're just kind of there. A little bit of pizzazz from the honey mustard and the cheese. Mm. I give it 9 out of 10. One of the best subs you'll ever have from Subway. You're also probably wondering... When do you eat the chips? So, don't start off with the chips. What I like to do when I eat one half, I'll eat some of the chips. And then I'll start working on the second half. And then I can eat the chips like in between. But you don't want to start with the chips. You want to like get most of the first half down before you even open the chips. And the drink, you drink it as needed. This meal, this meal cost me like 10 bucks. I get it like every week. Call me disgusting. I don't care. I'm going to keep eating my tuna subs from Subway. This whole meal is a 10 out of 10 experience. That's right. 10 out of 10. Subway, if you want to sponsor me, get the Calico Kitty tuna sub hit me up i'll do it one more bite one more bite for you guys one more bite i know i know you love watching me eat mm. look at that delicious mm. I should warn you, sometimes the Subway tuna, it will make you, your pee smell like tuna a little bit. 
This happened to me before. If it happens to you, it's just a warning. Now you know. Um, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Wow, wasn't that video you just watched like super cool? Um, <clears throat> if you want to see more videos, you can um, subscribe there or uh, click one of these other videos that are like here and you can watch some other ones if you really want to or don't. It doesn't really matter. Okay, bye.